You know, I was hanging with friends backstage. I got to meet all these really cool country artists that were having a great time. And out of nowhere, you just hear these, like, um, almost sounded like fireworks. And uh, we didn't really know what was going on. By now, we all know what was happening. Bullets were raining down from the 32nd floor of the nearby Mandalay Bay. Video from Sunday night shows fans scrambling for safety, trying to outrun the gunfire that never seemed to stop. I even saw a lady get shot in the leg, um, and then, you know, she was brought over right next to my area, and they were like, hey, we need help, you know, let's wrap up the leg, you know, and it was awful. I was just seeing that's just... I can't, it's hard to explain. The former Rice University decathlete hid behind a tour bus until SWAT officers let him out. Only then did he fully grasp what had happened. Just seeing the dead bodies on the ground um, and the blood everywhere, it was just, it was awful. So many more stories uh, to come in the days to come. Uh, we will be here throughout the morning with updates for you uh, all today, all throughout the week. Russ? All right, Randy, thank you. It's 436. This morning, we don't know why Stephen Paddock did this. Even his family says they saw no sign of the coming attack. We know the retired multi-millionaire lives up connections to Texas. Probably records show that he owned several homes in Mesquite, for Texas, info. and had at least one plane parked at the Mesquite Metro do? Airport from 2007 to 2010. His brother Eric says him. he even got rich investing in real Call estate a deal on and board. as a professional gambler. <laughs> And law enforcement says that Paddock had no criminal history. Paddock's father, though, had been in trouble. Benjamin Paddock was a notorious bank robber who landed on the FBI's most wanted list after escaping from a federal prison in Texas back in 1968. After serving time again, he died in Texas in 1998. Before Jason Aldean took the stage during the Route 91 Harvest Festival, concert goers joined Big and Rich in singing God Bless America. So, his daddy was a criminal. Dad robbed banks. They keep trying to indicate that they can't determine what inflicted him to do this. God damn it, people. This video was shot by the Life. Life. He, I couldn't say it's an obstacle. We can't say it got infused by an obstacle. Okay, he had money. So we can't say he had a misfortune. He had a woman, so he was getting some pussy. He wasn't no lonely ass old dude. You know. But if you look at it, all over fucking America, all over America, they got gun show every week. Every fucking week it's a gun show. Every week. I know y'all know this shit. And these are semi-automatic automatic rifles and automatic rifles. And now you 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 can buy something to convert your semi-automatic to automatic. And they not gonna they not they they not they not gonna put no sanctions on this shit. And longer people got access to these guns, this rhetoric is not gonna decease. Always subscribe, like this video. If you got any comments, if you got a video, put it in the email. Like it. Give me your suggestion. Give me your perspective on what you think driven him to do this. What do you think driven Stephen Pollard to do this? Because that's going to have to be revealed. That's going to be re exposed. A county commissioner in Las Vegas has set up a GoFundMe account to help the victims of medical costs. This morning it's raised close to $3 million. If you'd like to donate, we have a link for you at khou.com. We're following the story throughout the morning. Coming up at 5, we look into how Austin City Limits is already preparing for this weekend's festival. And once you're out the door, look for updates online at khou.com and our social media pages. All right, now it's 439. She was watching the radar this morning because there is some rain out there. <laughs> there sure is.